All right, friends, I have an interesting video here. I want to talk to you today about a screen technology called e-ink. So I'm very interested in the display of information. Um, being a Christian and believing in the Bible, um, you know, I'm very interested in the presentation of words. After all, the, the scriptures are the written representations of God's word. And there's been many different mediums for words with start, you know, going back to uh, writing on clay tablets, um, scrolls, then the first codexes are books. You know, now we have like screens to display information. Um, so I'm, I'm very interested in this stuff and I, I use this stuff a lot. So I want to talk to you today about what is e-ink or, well, e-ink is the company. The technology is called e-paper. Okay. So let me explain something to you, okay? So this here is an iPad. This is an Onyx Books Note Air, okay? Or Note Air 2, okay? This is a traditional screen that you might be used to, you might have on your phone, an LED or some, or I don't know if it's an LCD, okay? And basically how these screens work is on the, uh, on the iPad, okay, this is, you can see my some of the Greek stuff that I'm working on. On this iPad, this screen, what it is is, there are all these pixels, okay? And a pixel, as far as I can tell, pixels are made up of three, three tiny, 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 tiny light bulbs. And I think they have red, green, and blue. And every color, a bunch of colors can be made simply by changing the intensity of those three color lights and forming the pixels, okay? And this has, I don't know what the number is, but a lot, a lot, a lot of pixels, okay? And essentially what there is is these lights are uh, going from, there's light going from the back of the, the bottom of the device in the back of the screen. It's going up and it's beaming those lights on a panel. And the panel is what you're seeing on the thing, okay? And uh, now with an e-ink device, okay, an e-ink device the, it's not produced with uh, LEDs. How an e-ink screen works is there are little capsules or little chambers that make up the pixels. And the capsules have pigment in them. And then as far as I know, they magnetize the capsule to make the pigment rise or fall. So when the pigment falls, I, think, I believe you'd see white. And when the pigment rises, you would see black. And there is, they are working on color technology for this, but it's, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. But so you say, why, okay, why are you talking about this? Well, there are some significant differences here in how this technology works. So on this one, you have light beaming into your eyes at, all the time. Here, um, and, th and there's actually no light at all on this device. The, what you're seeing right here is the screen um, without any, I mean, there's the light in the room, Okay, and that's the thing about ink. Ink doesn't really need light for you to be able to see it. Because it's, what you're seeing is e-paper. It's paper, it's ink, pigment, in a screen, and you're, you're seeing actual ink uh, kind of pigment. Whereas this, you're, even though you're seeing black here, that you're just seeing light on a screen. And so, um... One of the things is like with a LED light, you might have heard of blue light, okay? And there's been studies done on blue light and they say blue light, like it can inter it can make it so that you, you don't sleep well at night. So if like you're on your phone or you're on an iPad a lot, you know, it might keep you from sleeping. I personally get headaches when I use like, I have a MacBook here on my right that you can't see, but I have this iPad. And what happens is I get headaches. And the reason for that is because you have lights beaming into your eyes, you know? And so like, you know, like you ever see, you know, you get up in the morning and if you, you try to look at your phone or, or something and it's too bright and you turn the brightness down, you know, it's cause you know, you got light beaming into your eyes, okay? And the other thing about this is um, in order to save battery power with an LED panel or an LED screen, that these lights are, they flicker technically. Now they flicker so fast that your eye can't actually perceive it. And they do that in an attempt to make the battery life longer from what I can uh, last longer. So you have this, these lights beaming your eyes and they're constantly flickering. 
And I'm, I don't know what, we don't know, I don't know all the long-term effects that this will have on your eye health and stuff. But like for me, like when I've look at, been looking at a screen for long periods of time, I actually start to get headaches. And so I've started using, I'm starting to switch things over to e-ink devices. Um, this is what I, I mainly use. This has basically replaced my iPad uh, for now. A couple other things to talk about is the e-ink battery life is way longer because, okay, right now this screen's using almost no power. Because all it has to do is do the initial uh, magnetization of the capsules, and this display is right here. In fact, I can you can do I can do a custom lock screen on this where I lock it, and like I can have it show like whatever image, and it'll just be there, and it's not using the device. This right iPad right now, the screen that's on right now, like that's using up that's using up power, because the battery is having to light all of those lights. Um, for, uh, you know, a, a period of time. Um, the other thing is like writing is interesting. Now you can write, if you have an iPad and you have, um, you know, a stylus, which this is the, I think, I don't remember what this, which one this is, but like you can write notes and stuff, but you're writing on a glass screen, feels really glassy. Now with a lot of like ink, now I could do that also with this, but the uh with this device it feels a lot more like writing on paper okay so i don't know if you can hear that but it's it actually feels a lot like writing on paper and so uh, this is kind of like i have an ipad or i kind of have a, a tablet and a digital notepad now the other thing about this is uh this is running full android and so i can run i can run google play for example, like here's the Play Store, and I don't know what's gonna pop up here. So, um, you know, sometimes they have goofy advertisements, okay? But like you can download whatever apps. This is running full Android, but it is only black and white. Um, but reading on this is very nice on your eyes. Um, you might be familiar with ink if you if you've ever if you know what a Kindle Paperwhite is. Maybe you've seen Kindle Paperwhite. It's a little device. It's about this about this big, very small. Um, that that's an e-paper display. Okay, um, so the cons of this are it's better for your eyes. You're not going to get headaches from it. Um, the contrast is definitely not as good as, you know, like, um, let me see if I get really close to the camera. You know, you see how the, you see the displays. So the, the clarity, it's definitely nowhere near LED. I mean, like this is, I don't know. I, I think I can, I don't know if this is a 4K display on this iPad Pro, but you know, you can see images. You know, for example, let me uh, just pull up a random image of a mountain on the iPad. You know, here's an image of an iPad on a, mo or a mountain on an iPad. And you'll see on the inch, number one, it's not going to be in color. Okay, but, um, you know... Just give me a second here. Let me sh let me pull up a mountain here. Okay, so here is actually I found the same image. So you can see, obviously, there's going to be some limitations. Like you're not going to, and you you you're not going to be able to watch videos on this. I mean, you can see some some animation. But you like you can't watch videos like you would on an iPad because the refresh rate is not as fast, um, and sometimes there's a little bit of uh, you can have what's called ghosting, which um, I won't show it here. But I don't to me it doesn't really bother me for what I use it for. So there's a couple different e devices that are out there. This is my wife's remarkable too. Um, this actually does not have Android. This is literally just like a um, paper notebook. But the writing experience on this is really nice. Um, I typically, I, I love e-ink because, oh, the other thing is too, is like you can take an e-ink device and go outside and you can read and you're not going to, like the iPad screen is very glossy. Um, I think it's necessitated by how the screen works. Like, you know how when you go outside and it's very bright, like you can't, even if you turn your brightness up, you can't see. You can take this out in the sun and it's like looking at a piece of paper with ink on it. Now... This does have what's called a front light. So you actually can turn turn these lights on. So see now, but the difference is this is a, technically it's a side light, but 
This is not a light beaming through the screen up in your eyes. This is it putting light from the sides onto the E panel underneath it. And that's what you're actually seeing. So I love e-ink technology. I'm a big e-ink enthusiast. There are a couple devices where they've started to do color e-ink, but the resolution of the color is not even as good as the black and white, but it can be helpful. Like, um, you know, I'm, uh, the color, color ink looks promising. It's just not, so I think the technology is great for what it is. I definitely prefer e-ink screens over this. In fact, there, there are companies that are making monitors like 25 inch monitors out of this technology um you know things like that so the devices that i generally recommend i'm a very very big fan of the onyx books brand i like the, the onyx books this is a note air they have a bigger 13 inch it's called a max lumi um in fact and on that you can actually read documents the same size as a, a normal sheet of paper there is a Nova Air Color is a seven. It's this Onyx Books Nova Air Color is a smaller. It's like a seven inch and it's got color. It's actually pretty good. The Remarkable 2 is a good device, but it doesn't run Android. So literally it's only like a notebook. Um, and then there's a cup. There's some companies like there's a company called Big Me that's coming out with a size this that has color e-ink. So I'm a huge enthusiast of e-ink. I recommend it. If you are somebody like I'm a missionary and I preach a lot and I study a lot. So I have a memorize app here. I'm on this memorizing Greek and Hebrew vocabulary. I read a ton. I got Kindle. Um, I take notes like I was just just this morning. I was working on a sermon note for a. Uh, you know, this is a sermon that I'm going to preach at a church uh, actually this coming Sunday. You know, and there, I mean, there's all sorts of things on here. I have Logos Bible software, I mean, and I do have some other things, but I, I, I generally, I use this device for en entertainment, or not entertainment, for like work and stuff. So if like, if you're, if you watch a lot of videos or you're getting a device for that, I mean, LED is probably going to be better for you. But if you're somebody where you use a device a lot, you do a lot of writing, brainstorming, taking notes or you know you, you want a device where you can write a lot like my my wife uses her remarkable for journaling actually she's got sheet music on this uh like hymns and stuff on here you know she's got she just journaling you know there's all sorts of things that you can do with e-paper e and e-paper like really e the e-ink devices a lot of them are going towards having a really nice writing experience um so anyway I've been wanting to make this video. I love e-ink. I would love to see Apple produce like an e-ink device. Unfortunately, they haven't yet. I'd um, you know, so anyway, I will include a couple links in the descriptions to uh, maybe where you can, I might put some links in there where you can read more about e-ink technology. Um, and I'll put a couple links on where you can get some of these devices. Um, so thanks. If, if you like the content that you're seeing here, um, please subscribe. Uh, please share the videos. Um, I would like to build my channel. Once I get once I get to a certain number of followers on the channel, I can start getting more uh, more. I can start doing more Bible reviews because more more companies will be willing to send me those. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for your time, and I hope that you learned something, and I hope I piqued your interest in e-paper technology.